every time he was around, just such, uh, such an amazing man. Um, you know, so kind. Uh, always, you know, everyone said he was a coach. He was definitely always a coach. You know, he has such a legacy. Obviously, the kids and everybody nowadays thinks about the video game and um, you know, uh, and all those things and the legacy he's left there. But you know, what he was what he was able to do with his career is pretty awesome as well. Oh man, it's it's been nothing short of really uh, <laughs> legendary. You know, we all we all grew up playing Madden and. You know, I've, I remember my first Madden was 2002, and I played it every year until I'm actually on the game. So I mean, you you hear his voice, you hear him broadcasting, you know the kind of the guru of football that he was and that he was for the organization. It's just what he's done for the game and for most of us NFL players in this building is just you can't even put it in words. When I think of John Madden, I think of greatness. A young coach like him coming in and leading the Raiders to their first Super Bowl, that's that's greatness. That's as great as it comes. What he meant as a Raider. Uh, as a coach, um, you know, what he meant as a broadcaster, just with his personality, with his quirky, um, you know, sayings. But it just as a lifelong Raiders fan, I was definitely excited to talk to Coach Madden. John Madden's a wise guy. He could touch the right buttons with a lot of our players. And I guess there's a couple that he couldn't, you know, uh, get to, and they didn't last very long. But John, if, if you listen to John, and he kind of, uh, he, he would set you straight. He'd keep you going, uh, straight and narrow, and uh, a great mentor. John was good with getting motivating guys. You know, he knew what button to hit with guys. He knew their personalities. John's very intelligent, you know, and he knows, he, he knows guys, he knows their personality, and that was a big asset with us, with John, that John knew how we were. He, he, not as a group, but as individuals. You know, to get into like what the Madden game has become and what it is in pop pop culture. Um, so at, for for a retired player, um, it's just uh, you know icing on the cake. You know, so many kids that never saw me play, um, that will never see me play, and they know of me through the Madden football game. <laughs> um, you know, and and uh, they don't just know the name, right? I mean, they know serious stats and things like that. So. So uh, that, that's kind of what that uh, been on the cover of Madden Men. Now the old Madden team was just like an all-pro team, except John's picking it. John's saying, look, if I'm picking an all-pro team, this is what it would be, and here's why. And then he, he spoke exactly about what his team is made up for. And he, you know, he put me on that team for a few years, and he put me on the all-time team. That, that, to me, was very satisfying, you know, with John to make that, that's he. That's what he thought, because I respected his opinion so much. And I understood what he wanted in a player, and so if he's putting you on that, I'm for it.